Got to spend time with some coaches. Got to talk to Coach, Coach Norville, Coach Dugan, some of my guys. You know, what did Coach? What was kind of Coach Norville's message to you? Oh, it's always been the same. He's always been transparent with me. He tells me that he's going. He expects the best out of me, and I get this, the same in return from him. So now, it's not always. You're a two-sport athlete. Yes, you sir. did see baseball. Uh, yes, kind of what was your impression of that? And you plan to play both sports in college? Um, I think FSU has a great program with the new coaches coming in on the baseball side. And I think they're definitely on the upper for football. I think they'll definitely be a top five team next year. Okay. So. BJ, what did you like so much about the visit that there was like one or two things that just jumped out at you today? The coaches. The coaches always stand out to me. They, they always show love. I feel like they make me a priority. Most of, like, Every time I come down here, they always show love. So that's the greatest thing about it. You've been here so many times. So now how do you feel about these guys that you're now here again? I mean, there's got to be a reason you keep coming back. And then, too, just, just what's your feeling about them? It feels like they're family. It feels like they're family. It feels like home. They always treat me the same. No matter the, since the first visit, they always treat me the same. Where do they stack up in your recruitment? Uh, what do you mean by that? Like, so like, do you have any, like? I, I haven't released my top schools okay. yet. But gotcha. they'll be pretty high when I release them. Yes, sir. Now, who else are you hearing from, like, uh, I guess, the most? And where where else you should expect to take it on official visits during the spring? Uh, I know I, I, y'all probably don't hear this, but Florida, Florida, <laughs> Florida, Florida <laughs> uh, asked me to come up there in the spring. But, sure they did. Uh, yes, sir, South Carolina. I'm mean, okay. going to bounce around a little bit. Do, do you want to come back here for the FSU spring game? Yes, sir. I would like to. Yes, sir. What do you want to see kind of on the next visit when you get over here since you've been over here so many times? It's just... I've about seen everything. <laughs> okay. So it just, it's, I mean, it's, it's just always a good time to get down here. Do you have a commitment timeline? I do not. Now, will you be taking your official visits in the summer or are you going to wait till the fall to do that? Uh, I haven't really sat down with my family to talk about it yet, but well, I will let y'all know when I'm ready to. BJ, talk about just uh, Coach Dugans and Coach Norvell, just what you like so much about them, whether it's their personality, their coaching style. What personality, you... yes, sir. The, the personality really stand out. They they both treat me like family. They always tell me, you know, what they expect out of me, and that's, that's what I want to happen because I want to be real. I don't want no sugarcoating. I want you to get down to business and tell me how it's going to be and what it's going to be. I don't want no, no fake stuff around. As you weigh different schools, I mean, what's important to you in your decision-making process? Um... I really want to play dual sport in college, so whichever side is going to give me the best opportunity to play both sides of the of both sports is no, that's how I base my decision. Did you get a chance to talk to Coach Jarrett on the baseball stage? Yes, sir, I did. Okay. What was his message? He just, he just took my hand. It, it was it was during the scrimmage, so he was busy. Okay. What position would you like to play in baseball? Baseball, I play center field. I'm an outfielder, so. Have, have you had any extensive conversations with the FSU baseball staff, like aside from this visit? Oh, uh, not really. I, I got to speak a little bit with Coach Rich Wallace over there a few minutes ago. And a conversation. Is there um, is there things you're going to look for in the fall? You know, when you look at schools.